Well, moving on, community organizations came together to teach their neighbors how to interact with law enforcement. Two News reporter Allison Gens was at that walkthrough. She joins us live now in the studio to explain what they want the, the, want the community to take away. Riley, the organizers of today's neighborhood walk wanted to answer questions about what to do if law enforcement approaches you in your car, on the street, or even at your home. They say it's just one part of their effort to making a change in Dayton's neighborhoods. Start there, work our way back, and go around on the street behind. Members from eight community organizations, pamphlets in hand, out to make a difference one neighborhood at a time, starting with Greenwich Village. Basically getting in the neighborhood, getting our feet on the ground, basically meeting our neighbors. The goal is um, in line with the mission of the NAACP. We want to inform our citizens, educate our citizens, and empower them. President of the Dayton unit of the NAACP, Dr. Derek L. Forward, says they're trying to be proactive and starting conversations about how to interact with law enforcement in any scenario. We're tired of seeing death at the hands of law enforcement. In fact, we're also tired of seeing death at the hands of one another. Forward says they're answering questions like when and how to comply with police, the rights you have if police arrive at your home, and what to do if you are arrested. That's one thing that we don't want our citizens to do is run from the police because when you run, the outcome, uh, whether or not it's good or bad, or whether or not it's justified or not, isn't the right thing to do. And people who live in Greenwich Village say these conversations can make a difference to make their neighborhoods a better place to live. I hope to see in a lot of more uh, movements like what's going on right now. You know, I love to be a part of the uh, community because uh, community is uh, everything. Now this is the first of several initiatives that these organizations are working on in Dayton. Next they plan to do a get out to vote walkthrough. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.